You've got TMA U2 questions, and I've got your answers. This is The Gut War. Now, a subscriber by the name of Arena sent me an email with a question. It reads, Hi, my name is Arena, and I'm a TMU sufferer from the United Kingdom. Hello, Arena from the United Kingdom. I like the United Kingdom. I went there. Y'all got a lot of beef with high choline and a lot of organ meat with high choline. It messed me up when I was there. You heard my airplane trip. Your videos you're posting on YouTube are incredible, and your energy is awesome. Thanks for all the tip and advices. I've decided to start my own gut war on Monday, and I had my first kefir yogurt, but it seems like it made my reactions worse. Would you mind telling me how your reactions were when you first started having kefir in the month and a half before your reactions went away? Did you get side effects from kefir in the diet like gassy stomach and so on? Thanks, Arena. I hope that's how you say your name, Arena. Thank you for emailing me. I personally did not have worse reactions when I started taking kefir, but there are reports of others who have had worse reactions when they started taking kefir. My gas, however, was worse, and my bathroom visits were stinkier. I do a diagram explaining what could be happening in your body. Now, this is definitely what could be happening. There was a study conducted on mice on their TMA levels and lactobacillus, and they proved that lactobacillus will, in fact, drop TMA overload on mice. But what they also learned is lactobacillus, a large number of bacteria belonging to the order of methanobacterialis have been found in the human gut. These archaea use methyl compounds such as TMA and TMAO as substrate. That means they consume them and they use them as nutrients and generate methane. Now, because you have never bombarded your body with lactobacillus the way you are now, and you already have a TMA overload, those methane gases that lactobacillus converts to could be escaping from your body as vapors like never before, and you're experiencing an eruption, if you will, of odors. Now, reports from Discord indicate that some people with TMAU2 taking their kefir experience things worse at first and they get better. And that could be because of the TMA overload, the conversion of methane, the vapors leaving the body at first. And you also excrete TMA by going to the bathroom. And that could explain why I had, you know, smellier excrement. Another report is that lactobacillus helps sleep. Something I experience is deeper nights rests, more prolific dreams, etc. Also keep in mind that kefir is only 14 milligrams of choline per 100 grams of food. So it's most certainly not the choline inside of kefir that's causing the odor. Just a few things, when TMA is excreted, when you go to the bathroom, that could mean that you'll have diarrhea, you could see more bathroom visits throughout your day, you'll have smellier bathroom visits, you'll have more gas, because that TMA is very smelly and you'll be faced with these type of symptoms. You'll also feel like you'll have smellier vapors. And reports from Discord indicate that homemade kefir, people who have TMAU2 are seeing less gas and smell versus store-bought kefir. I hope this answers your questions, Arena. I may not be a doctor. I may not be a scientist. But I am a personal trainer who gives a damn. All of this is just advice, but this is what I did to win the gut war.